Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. There's not really that much uh, stuff coming out this week. I know that uh, Marvel assembled a big old box set with like 10 Blu-rays or 10 DVDs in it came out today. It's like $160. I have most of them separately. I'm not really like, you know, really needing to get that big one, but I'm gonna be going off to Best Buy and Fry's and. I may hit uh, uh, Goodwill today just to see if there's anything new in there. Because last time I went there, I donated a couple of VHS tapes. Actually, boxes and boxes of them. So I'm going to go there and see if they have anything new DVD-wise. See if anybody's ever ever traded in Blu-rays to them. So, uh, let's go. It's time to hoard. Alright, guys. I'm outside of the Beast right now. I'm about to go in there to see uh, what new things I can hoard up on in there. There's only really one thing I want to get that comes out today. But uh, I'm not going to tell you what that is, and, you know, because I want to show you at the end if I find it. But uh, I'm going to go up in there, see if there's anything good to hoard up on in there today. Oh. Alright guys, I'm in Fry's now. There's these things that they have here when people return movies, right? I always wanted to talk about this because I only see it every once in a while over here. And that is, when people return a movie without the case, they still try to sell the Blu-ray or DVD by itself. Uh, this is Lady and the Tramp and it's $26.99. Would you buy it like that? Just the... Uh, Blu-ray itself, just like that, no case or anything from a, a new retail store. It's just always kind of a weird thing. I'm just kind of searching around right now, trying to just look around for certain things that I'm interested in. And I don't, I haven't even seen that uh, Ultimate Avengers box set anywhere in any any of these stores. So I think it might it might just be a an online thing. I'm not sure if it is or not, but just kind of just strolling uh, strolling around trying to find something. Or see if there's anything interesting. Damn, guys, it is a slow week, man. I'm I'm looking around here. There's really nothing to to get. Like I'm looking at older stuff that I've, I haven't gotten yet on Blu-ray that I should get now because it's a slow week. But I'm just like I don't know. But like this is one of the ones right here I've been wanting to get on Blu-ray. If anybody's out there has seen the transfer on this, let me know if it's any good. It's 19.99 on Blu-ray. I absolutely love that movie. But if anybody, like I said, has seen a transfer of that, let me know if it's worth getting. But it's just really kind of slow this week, man. Not really much, any, not any big deals like, you know, Cats and Dogs 2 for $7.99, like, what? Um, and Bruno for 5 It's That's it. It's, just like, it's a real slow week for sales in, in these big box stores and just a slow week in general for releases. But, uh, dude, I guess they do have the box set here at Fry's. It's $169.99. It's a cool looking box that I seen my buddy uh, Corey Brown from Corey Reviews do an unboxing of this bad boy. It looks really cool, but the discs are in there really kind of flimsily, like in weird paper sleeves. For like a big set like this, you would expect them to be like in good, you know, protective sleeves, but they're kind of in weird little paper ones. But it's really cool because in here, like the thing would glow. I, I saw a cool unboxing from Corey Reviews, so check out his review in the description box. But this set looks really, really cool, but I do own these movies separately on Blu ray, so. $179 or $170, not really up my alley right now, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm going to be getting up out of here right now, seeing if I, uh, you know, go on over to like, uh, who knows, Goodwill or something, see if they have anything good over there. So, let's go. Alright guys, I'm out of fries right now. Didn't really find anything in there. I, I've been, I'm, I'm looking for this one movie today. No place seems to have it. I'll tell you what it is at the end of it, at the end of this video. But I'm going on over to Goodwill right now to see if I can find any hidden treasures. I'm going down this back alley right now next to this old uh, high school I used to go to called Kooten School. It's always, it's like, it's like right, you know, right behind an apartment building. And they always, uh, this is the school I went to for uh, my high school schooling. It was a, it's a fun place. It's a, uh, it's a real, like, the classes are real small. It's always like, it was a nice real, a nice little experience I had over here. Nice teachers, a lot of one-on-one -on -one experience and stuff. It's, it's, a, it's a good place if you guys ever get a chance to see it. But it's always like, you know, shoved behind houses and apartments. It's really kind of weird. But I'm heading on over to Goodwill right now. So uh, let's go in, guys. Let's see what kind of cool stuff we can find today at the Goodwill. Bum, bum, bum. All right, guys, out of the Goodwill now. I couldn't really get that much footage in there because they were blasting music. And you guys all know how YouTube is with their music policy thing. Um, they're like playing the radio or something's going on in there. Um, but they had these VHSs ranging from $1.99 to $4. Like, the, that, uh, God, I saw in there uh, Godfather on VHS for 4 bucks. You have to get them for 4 bucks each. You know, part one's 4 bucks, 
part two is four bucks. I'm like, Jesus Christ. And uh, there's this, I saw this big old TV in there for $25. Uh, sad to say, that thing's probably like 700 pounds. I don't know how the hell anybody would get that out of there and into their house. But, uh, <laughs> oh my God. And it seemed like there was a lot of people in there just like lounging around. Like sitting on those couches just like, shit, what else am I going to do today? And they're just like laying on the couches and stuff. It was just really, really weird. Like I don't I understand people in there testing out couches, but it looks like there's way too many people out there just in there. Just messing around, just chilling, just have nothing to do, just laying around. You know what, guys? I might should go into one more little thrift store before I head home. Right now, I'm just walking down the street of uh, Sherman Way, and they have all these cool little thrift stores. Like this little thing right there is kind of cool. It's in the window, just chilling. They always have these little cool, like little, like knickknack stores around our area here. But I'm gonna go into this other place and see if they have any other cool things to hoard up on, if anything. But uh, yeah, it's right over here. This cool little thrift store. Best of the best. Oh! Yeah, guys, this place is kind of cool. They have a bunch of like old like VHS tapes here, old Highlander series, uh, box sets. If you guys remember the the show Highlander, old cool VHS box sets. There's old Disney ones. Just a lot of like you know old VHS tapes that are kind of cool to look back at. Like this thing right here. I don't really remember it that much, but it's called the Bell's Tales of Friendship. You know, Bell's Tale of Friendship. They have a lot of like weird stuff that you, you don't see all the time. Uh, like especially that. I don't. I haven't seen those in years. Those old Highlander sets. Who knows how much those are? But this one right here. I'm waiting to come. I'm waiting for this one to come to Blu-ray. One of my all-time uh, favorites right there from Disney. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. They they used to have all this right here. Uh, filled up with movies too, but now it's all books and you know words and stuff like that You know things like that hurt my mind, you know reading books and words and smelling pages. Oh my god It gives me a headache. Oh All right guys, I'm gonna go on home and uh, Show you guys what I hoarded up on. All right guys. I'm back home now from hoarding up I really didn't find anything out there today that Avenger set is you know that big you know ultimate Avenger set is pretty damn cool But for 170 bucks, I, I'm not gonna jump on that um, the thing I really wanted to get today that came out, which I couldn't find anywhere, was uh, Tom Hanks' movie, That Thing You Do on Blu-ray. It's one of those ones I've always liked. I like the music, I like the time the time period and all that, I like the Beatles kind of shit. But uh, that's, that's what I really wanted to go out and get today, but I couldn't find it. So I really didn't hoard up on anything except for uh, a spicy chicken burrito from Michael's and a, a BLT sandwich. One of, them, one of them's dinner and one of them's lunch. So that's all I really hoarded up on today. I really didn't really, you know, get anything. I, I didn't, didn't even see any good sales out there, to be honest with you. So it's kind of just like a slow week in general. So uh, I really wanted to show you, like, Goodwill and those uh, thrift stores that I live next to, which always have cool VHS tapes like those Highlander ones. But uh, that's all I have to show you guys today. But uh, hopefully I find, a, I find that thing you do soon because I have that two discs uh, special edition DVD one and I just want to upgrade it to Blu-ray. Well, guys, thanks for watching this hoarding up video today, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.